A Michigan combat veteran fought the federal government and won something that's exceedingly rare. But now his case may be the bedrock for how veterans are treated when they return home suffering from PTSD and other ailments. Our Mara McDonald is breaking the story for us tonight. Mara, a big victory here. And one you rarely see, Carmen. You know, this is just a portion of the filing in this case, and it details this soldier's PTSD, which he says he's not going to allow to ruin his life. So anytime we left the base, uh, the enemy knew where we were headed. Sergeant Tony Gazvoda spent 10 months in Afghanistan. His mission, clear the roads of hostiles and IEDs so support units could get through. He survived 34 firefights, received an Army Commendation Medal with Valor, and came home honorably discharged and looking for a job. And then when I had the opportunity to get hired on with Homeland Security. Gazvoda was thrilled. His post, Laredo, Texas. Maybe after two months after being in Laredo, I started noticing my sleep was off. I started having uh, anxiety, depression. Along with hypervigilance, in short, he was a mess. His co workers noticed and sent him back to Michigan on paid leave to sort out what was soon to be diagnosed as PTSD. The government's own doctors have evaluated him and said he's fit to be a Border Patrol agent. We just need to get him out of the southern arid desert. Because it brought back too many bad memories of being shot at or hauling comrades out of burning Humvees. The simple solution? A transfer back to Michigan. A solution that turned out to be anything but simple. When Sergeant Gazvoda went came to me. I couldn't believe the facts. Gazvoda's transfer was denied and it was a paperwork tornado. He decided to go to court. The feds argued, and this is a quote, the accommodation he seeks is to be moved to a more Caucasian English speaking environment. These are the federal government's own doctors. Came up with 13 similarities that are triggering his PTSD by reminding him of Af Afghanistan where he was shot at. But rather than talk about those 13, Justice Department lawyers would rather call a decorated Army war veteran essentially a racist. Turkish wasn't the only one who finds that line of reasoning to be off the reservation. So did a federal judge ruling in Gazvoda's favor. I hope in the end that not only works out for me, but it works out for other people that may be going through the same issues as me. Back here live, the judge granting a temporary injunction in this case. The hope is that it's going to be made permanent shortly. And Gazvoda isn't looking for any money in this case. No damages. He just wants a job. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.